All right, guys. So we were looking today to this uh, tank. All right. First of all, I would give credit to this site, which is Instrumentation Tools. Okay, you guys can see that they have done a very good job. So we we are going to look at uh, this tank, and that is going to be your assignment. Yeah. So let me explain that. So I put that right here, and. Um, we are going to explain and then you guys are going to write your PLC program. So by now we have discussed this in the class and uh, now when I talk about it again that should be pretty easy. So I got um, you know wall 1 and wall 2 always identify your outputs and inputs okay and then you can connect them logically yeah you can connect them logically it become easy when you identify them so I got wall inlet wall one yeah number one so the order of operation is we got material a okay this is material a level so this is going to come and it's gonna get filled all right we're gonna get filled up to this point make it more thicker right here so when it get filled, this sensor, let's say he is normally open, so he is going to close, okay, and what is going to happen when this close, this wall right here is going to close, of course it's going to, we don't want any more material. Then after that, what's going to happen, this valve is going to open, okay, and when this wall open, right here we got another sensor, let's say he is normally open, and when he get filled, then is it's going to get closed and this wall is going to get closed okay so now we got a and b we got those two material in this tank and what we want to do now we are going to start mixing it okay so this mixer uh, will turn on and it's going to mix it for five seconds okay and after that we are going to open this wall all right and when this wall is going to open and it's going to stay open until you know until this limit switch is closed so let's say this is normally open limit switch and when it get closed what's going to happen to this uh, outlet wall is going to close and this process is going to start again okay sounds good so that is what I want you guys to write the program for. So if you, you know, don't think too hard uh, on this. This level material A, so this sensor right here, let's say. This sensor right here, we can use a sensor. So utilize this. We got this sensor. I can use two instructions for it. One normally closed and one normally open. Remember, this sensor when he is open, and if I'm using this instruction right here, then what it is saying, if I use this instruction with an output, that output is going to be on, okay, energized when he's in open position. When we close it, this is going to be off, yeah? Of course, this is one and this is one, yeah? So it's going to be closed. But in the open position, again in open position, whatever output is connected right here that is going to be off, okay because this would be zero so this is open and this is zero but when we close this this become one one and zero and this is going to be it's going to be on so the example okay so let's see let's look at just the first rung i want to quickly do it just so raw you guys can think more and you know do it right and if there was a mistake i can you know show you it a little bit but uh, we can do is we can have a normally close push button okay so just and right here would be a start push button so just to let you guys see how you start with this and we can you know use an auxiliary here a ceiling and then let's say this is wall wall one all right so uh, we're gonna push this button when this button is pushed okay uh, this guy is going to this guy is to going to open this wall is going to open so we can later on say let's say the solenoid is controlling this 
this valve and this valve is going to open with the solenoid is actuated but for now uh, let's make it you know simple so he is going to he is going to open yeah but when should he be closed well, he should be closed when this sensor level material a which is a normally open sensor when he closes so the material is coming down and you know let's draw it like this so when it close when this sensor close what's going to happen this valve right here is going to close and we will not get more of this material all right so what i'm i can use i can use right here i can use right here a, a normally closed okay normally closed uh, sensor level sensor a yeah so sensor a because when it closes this will be one and this will be one so automatically this guy will this guy will close okay and there will be no more a coming material a coming and so when that is done so in this sensor we can use the normally open side of this sensor all right like i said in the previous if you guys just go back what i said is this is normally open so normally open can have two instructions normally close and normally open so now i'm utilizing normally open instruction and i can say wall wall b okay so when this guy closes so when he closes he is one right and what is this guy he is zero so this wall is going to open so that material b is coming in yeah so i'm going to erupt uh erupt and but you guys can think more and try to you know do it complete so i'm just giving you an idea here okay it's not a complete program but uh, when this wall should uh, close so he's going to open with this level sensor a is actuated uh, but when he is going to close of course he should close when this is rich when when the level is rich right here yeah the level of material b is right here so this is we say normally open so if you use the normally close instruction here play close attention this can make things easier for you level sensor b yeah so if he closes if he closes this will be one and this will be one and so this wall right here is going to close think of it like this okay uh, and then keep going on with it and then when you want you want to this mixer to be on it should be on for five seconds you know and after that this wall should open and it should stay open until this limit switch is hit and you guys can make you can replace the start button okay by going back to the process you know and, and, and use the last output as an input okay so if you look at the output we got this output we got this output the mixer is output this is output and these sensors and limit switches these are all our input i hope that makes the assignment easier for you guys and i will see you guys next week